Welcome to this sixth new video tutorial of the Series Gaze Control Keyboard. In the last video, we started to draw the keyboard. In this one, we're going to move forward with that, improving the function, and we're going to create two keyboards. And uh, now I will explain why. Let me shrink a bit the screen. No. Uh, Okay, we, well, this is the keyboard, but mostly we're going to focus on only on the letters. So we're going to create only the letters. So from Q to P and from A to L, or we can even put the comma and the dots. We're going to split the keyboard into parts. So the first one will be from Q to T and the second from Y to P. Because if we consider that each time we want to select a letter, it's when the letter is lighting up. So we blink our eyes and we select the letter. If we want to select, for example, the M, we are going to wait that all the letters are going to light up. So first is the Q, then half seconds, W, half seconds, the E. And it takes long time to write. It's going to be really slow. If we divide our keyboard into parts, we can, for example, select with our gaze only one part. Let's say that we want to select the left part. I'm going to look in the left. I blink our, uh, the eyes and we open only that part. And then we, we work with less letter and that's a better option to make it faster to, to type. Oh, this is clear. And um, now let's move on from where we were left in the last video. Uh, let's run the script. This is the keyboard that we created before. Really ugly and useless till now. So let's uh, let's do some improvement. We're going to uh, use five letters per each line, and we're going to use three lines. So let's now divide. Use only. Let's shrink our keyboard. Now it's too big. Let's use only the space that we need. As each key is uh, 200 of width and 200 of height, we know that on the width we have five letters, so it will be 200 per five, which is 1000, and this is the width. As we know that we are going to have only three lines, it will be two, uh, 200 per three. The height will be 600. We run again the script and we see a smaller keyboard and that's what we wanted. Let's now create some way that our keys will be all of them organized in the, in the keyboard automatically inside the function. Because for now we are passing each time the values. We don't want that. Let's make it as simple as possible that we only pass the letter and we say if the key is lightening up or not. Keys. So let's go here. To make. Uh, uh, I want a way to make it simpler. So let's um, let's create first a set of the keys keys set one let's call it this way and we put in order from the keyboard uh, the first one the index zero is the q the second one index one is the w the third one index two is the e third R, 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 then we, one, two, three, four, and then the T, the fourth will be the T. So let's do it this way. For example, we, we, all of these are in one line. So if 
ladder index is equals to zero it will be we're going to define x and y x will be equals to zero and y to zero so the top left point here we don't need to use the x and y anymore we see ladder index elif ladder index is equals to one which is the second key we move the key only on the same line but to the right so it will be x equals 200 and the same y for the of the first line it would be all the y zero and elif ladder index let's copy this one it will make it will make this faster this way so it will be easier ladder index 2 it will be 400 ladder index 3 it will be 600 ladder index 4 it will be 800 and that's all for the first line after the index 4, we have all the, f the, the letters in the first line, so let's see what we get. This is, the f uh, this is where we draw the letters. So we say letter, we need to say letter index, which is 0, and the letter is A. We have A in the first position. we copy them one two three four four with uh, which is not a anyway it's qwerty so it's q w e r t okay you can see we have probably all the letters and let's do the same for the other lines so let's go on with this we are the elif okay index for index 5 index 5 is on the next line so the x will start again from 0 but the y will be 200 x 200 and y 200 all the y will still be the same still 200 in the second line we change only the x so x 0 x 200 x 400 x 600 and x 800 and let's change the index five six seven eight nine for the third line will be the x will start again from zero but the y from 400 9 10 11 12 13 must be 14 one more as we have 15 letters it must be 14 index because we count also the zero so it's 0 400 200 400 400 400 600 and 400 and 800 and 400 now let's complete our key sets number one we can keep doing it in the same line i'm going the next line for just for matter of organization it won't change anything anyway for the rest five is equals to a six to s seven to d then eight to F nine to G. 
also the last line 10 Z 11 X 12 C 13 D and 14 B So it will be letter 5 equals to A and let's see if the A is correct and in, at this point there is no sense to draw the letter one by one otherwise it will not make any sense all the work that we made before uh, so let's draw them all in a loop so we, we know that we have 14 letters no, uh, sorry, 15 letters. So it's 4i in range of uh, range 15. We take letter is equals to letter index, which is i. So we print this, this for loop is just going to print uh, I shouldn't do this because if you're till here in this video, you should know really well what this does. Anyway, from zero to 15, uh, to fourteen. So we say letter i, and the second parameter of the letter is the text. The text we we take it from this key set. So if in a key set we pass just the index, then we will know what we get. So we can do it this way, as we have a dictionary, it will be letter, no, it's keys set one from keys set one, we pass again the index. And in this way, we should have all the keyboard, uh, I, think, I mean, all the half keyboard that we had. One last thing that we're going to do in this video is to light up the key. So let's say that the key D, we want to, to light it up so that we know that we're, we're going to select it. To light it up, let's say that we change the background color for the moment. So let's go again on the creation of the letter. Let's go on the rectangle this part and let's change the size uh, the color of the rectangle let's make a full white rectangle so 255 everything and instead of the thickness we just put the values minus one which is which means to fold the rectangle with the color so if I run this all the rectangle are filled with the color but we want to use this function only if we are lighting up the rectangle. So we can, uh, now I'm going back and put it as before, this one thickness and it was blue, zero and two fifty and zero. So this is the normal, the rectangle if it's not active. Let's say if leather light is uh, is true we have the rectangle i copy this one and we want it full white 255 and 255 thickness minus one to fill it if it's true we want it to light it up else the rectangle will be as before so letter light is true and we need to define here letter light letter letter light letter light and also now we have it on the function 
leather light let's say that now that it's false it's false for everything so it's in this way we put it true and we see it in this way we want to light only one leather so let's say that we want to light the leather with index number five so let the letter eight we want to light letter a we want to light it up so it will be if i is equals to five because we know that letter a is, uh, has index number five light is equals to true else liked is equals to false and here we we pass liked let's run the script and you can see that now only letter a is lighting up it's all for this video we will see in the next video how to approach this in real time so we're going to light up each letter uh, with uh, like probably each second I, uh, I will see about the timing but letter a lights up then s d and so on in a cycle so there is no more now to do for the moment i'm going to stop here see you in the next video